change. Not as young and fast as I used to be. Things snap, crackle, and pop a lot these days. Mr. Ashley, it's so good to see you. It's been a really long time. How's everything going? How's your family? Well, everybody's still got their hands, heads, and feet, so I guess we're all doing okay. That's great to hear. You know, uh, when I heard you were coming back, I was really surprised. Big city get too big for you? No, sir. Sometimes plans change. Do you mind if we go inside now? Yeah, sure. Does it look the same to you? It still has that same weird smell. It's like a time capsule. Kidding. The theater really needs some work. There's not been anybody in here for quite some time. We need to probably replace some railings and look at the carpet. The carpet needs repairing. And reseal some of the windows and... Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Tell all the folks at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time throng. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I'll be there ere long. Okay, that was interesting. Oh, Catherine, it's good to have you back. You've really been missed around here. It's Kit now, Mr. Ashley, and thanks. I never thought I'd be back, but here I am. Well, be sure and come by later this afternoon. Marjorie would love to see you. Yes, sir, I will. I've missed you all so much. And we've missed you too. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. What I say. Hey, girl. Danielle, I wasn't expecting to see you here. How'd you get in? Well, the door was unlocked. Was it supposed to be locked? Yeah, I thought I locked it on my way in. I'll have Mr. Ashley take a look at it. So, how's everything going? Still enjoy teaching kindergarten? I do. It's really rewarding for me to watch them grow and learn. My class is small, but that's how I like it. Gives me a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with them. Anyway, so glad to see you back. Yeah, it wasn't my plan, but sometimes doors close and you have to find another door that's open. And coming back to Horsehead was an open door. And who names their city Horsehead? Horsehead. Believe me, it's not just the name that should keep people away. I wanted to come back to this town and bring culture and art. New York is full of great opportunities and possibilities. Then why are you back in Horsehead? There are great opportunities and possibilities there, but I only got halfway. I went to New York after graduating college with a dream of working on Broadway. Well, I did work on Broadway, but only as a stage manager. I wanted to be on stage. I knew I had the talent, but for eight years I worked behind the scenes. Kit, you're the most talented person I know. There's no one around here from this small town that has left and even tried to live the life you've lived. I am really proud of you, and we're blessed to have you back in Horsehead. <laughs> You're gonna do great things. I have a lot of faith in you. Thanks, Danny. Now that you got me in my feelings, you're gonna help me pick out colors for these walls. Sure. I was thinking maybe a boy pattern. I really like this frame. Let's bring it. I heard you were back in town and I couldn't believe it. 
was New York City too big for you? Miss Bradford! No, New York wasn't too big. And it's Kit now. Well now, someone has a new name. Kit. Sounds like someone's pet. Or something you buy at the pick and save. Just kidding, hon. It's adorable. Well, I like it. You would. So, what's with all this stuff? Something happening at the old theater? Oh, no ma'am. Everything's fine. I'm giving the theater a facelift and bringing arts back to the town. Horsehead could use some culture. You don't say. Um, you know that this theater hasn't been used in over 10 years? I think if people wanted theater and culture, as you put it, it would have happened by now. Sure. Or maybe Horsehead doesn't know what it's missing out on and they need someone to show them. Well, you do have an extensive amount of knowledge in the area of success and failure. <laughs> Either way, it's great to have you home, hon. Thanks. Well, I need to get going. I must get Mitchell's dinner prepared. Well, I guess you can't relate to that. Well, with you not being married and all. <laughs> You really should come by the house sometime, Catherine. Will do. Toodaloo. How are these numbers not adding up? What am I missing? There's 74, 28, and 12. Knock, knock. Look what I have. Oh, is that coffee? Gimme. Danny, you are an angel sent from God himself. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how's everything going? I'm pulling my hair out. There are papers that need to be signed, the ceiling and the plumbing need to be fixed, and the numbers don't add up. It's going that great, huh? Well, at least you're on the road to having a great theater. I love your positivity. So guess who paid me a visit yesterday? Who? Mrs. Bradford. Mrs. Bradford? Why was she here? I don't know. I was leaving the theater and there she was, in all her glory. She's such a mean old woman. What'd she say? Well, first she insulted my life choices and then belittled me for not being married. The next time I see her, I'm not going to be so nice. Kit, don't do anything you're going to regret. Oh, don't worry. I won't regret it. Well, I gotta head back. I've got another teacher watching my class during lunch and I gotta get back before they're done. But listen, if you need anything at all, just ask me. I'm not that great with numbers, but I'm pretty good with everything else. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Danny. That means a lot. I wasn't expecting to see you here. It's Mayor Olson now. Oh, well, excuse me. Someone's all official and important. Horsehead finally give you a title? Horsehead didn't give me anything. I worked for it. Are you gonna keep me standing here all day or you wanna ask me in? Oh, yeah, sure. Come in. So, what do you think? It's nice. Look, I'm here to talk to you about this theater. The theater was scheduled to be demolished and you kind of got in the way of that. Okay, so why was it scheduled to be demolished? Well, it's old and no one wants it. Well, I want it. What's it supposed to be replaced with? A mini mall with a frozen yogurt shop. Mm, now it makes sense. It makes sense why Mrs. Bradford was so interested in the theater. Well, I'm sorry, Ryan, or Mayor Olson. I'm not giving up the theater. Catherine. You are standing in the way of this town's much needed revenue and me having frozen yogurt. Are you serious? You can't be serious. You're not serious. This town needs more than sports and a mini mall. 
This theater would bring in so many people from different cities and states. You're all not thinking. You're right. You're right. It does need more than these community sports events. It needs money. Money to keep things running and growing. And those little frozen treats with the little sprinkles. The rainbow ones. Like, I love the rainbow ones. My god, I love the rainbow Not the chocolate ones, the larger rainbow ones. I think one. we're done here. <sighs> I'm not giving up the theater. Wow. Different name, but still the same person. You can be really selfish, Catherine. So are the pipes fixed yet? No, they still haven't come. And the toilet upstairs exploded. Gross. I had my school once. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, Catherine. I was hoping I would run into you here. Danny, it's so good to see you. Catherine, I just spoke with Ryan, and he informed me that you will not be giving up this theater. The town council has a great proposal that will bring millions to this town, and you are standing in the way of that. Olivia, I've made it very clear my intention is to keep this theater. This theater would bring in so much income and tourists to this town. You have no idea what you're talking about. Just because you couldn't make it in New York City doesn't mean you can come back here and try to change things to your liking. We have never left. We have always been here. And that's just the problem. You've all never left. It's the same routine every day. This town will die because of it and it'll be your fault, Olivia. My fault? You are a very rude young lady. Rude? I have been nothing but nice to you the first time you showed up to harass and belittle me. I'm just giving you back what you gave me. You really need to change your attitude. And you really need to touch up your roots. Olivia, remember, it's Kit now. No more sunny days, no more sunny days. I got a heart. Theater is open for business. Let's hope things go smoothly from here on out. Hey, do you want to get some ice cream? Ooh, with sprinkles. Steal my sprinkles. I steal your summer. So